exchange. Let's move to school-based health clinics. This is really important for the state of New Mexico. Um, Senator Bingman has been a longtime proponent of education and health, as you all know, and he believes that really our communities are only as strong as our schools. And this law authorizes $150 million to support the construction and modernization of school-based health clinics. What does that mean here in New Mexico? We have over 80 school-based health clinics in the state of New Mexico that provide essential services such as medical and behavioral health services, screenings for diabetes, asthma, depression, teen suicide. All of these things are happening at many of these school-based health centers. It's also there's a correlation between reducing student absences and the health of students. That makes sense, right, to most people. If you feel good, you're going to be more likely to be in class. You're going to be more productive in class. There's a correlation between school-based health centers and actual student productivity and staying in school. In a state like New Mexico, that's obviously very critical. Other thing about that, a state like New Mexico is where's most of our state budget? Where do we spend the majority of our state budget? Education and about 70 to 80 percent of our budget is spent on education and health. You know, right? This is a major challenge to, the, to, to, to you know, govern, in the now Governor Martinez has to deal with, well, how are you going to tighten up a state budget when you got 70 to 80 percent going to really critical things like health and education that are very meaningful to New Mexicans? Think about school-based health centers. They're neither fully in the health realm nor fully in the education realm. They often can be the ones who are in that hybrid area that's on the chopping block because they don't necessarily have the strength and political power of either base kind of necessarily bat, going to bat for them when really critical decisions. So this law is excellent for New Mexico because it's actually going to take the pressure off the state budget to provide money for operating costs and to keep these school-based health centers open. Um, the other thing is, 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 is going to do is it provides additional grants for salaries. Oftentimes the people that are cut, you can keep the funding for the school-based health center, we're just going to cut the staff. Well, it's not like teachers are going to sit there in the school-based health center and provide services. So this law actually provides money for salaries, which is very unique, but we also realize these are very important in the backbones of our communities. The other thing it's going to do is provide money to keep school-based health clinics open year-round and have 24-hour on-call services. How many of you know where Des Moines is? They have an awesome school-based health center. It's also a wellness center, meaning it sees parents. Um, they're going to be able to stay open year-round. Why is that important? Because that's the only kind of health care going on in Des Moines, New Mexico. And if your health care stops when the school gets out, you basically got three months to wait for the school to start to then go back to the doctor. That's not a good scenario. So that's one of the things the law 